Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. This is I Allegedly. And uh, I've got a good one for you today because this is as good as it gets right now, today. Where you're at, that's it. Right now. So, before I get into it, please take a second. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. And uh, we have a sponsor today. I'll cover them a little later. But first things first, guys. There will be no interest rate cuts right now. This is as good as it's gonna get. You're not going to see any interest rate cuts in 2024. And with yesterday's, you know, over 400 point drop in the Dow, you know, everybody needs to get real with where we're at, with where, you know, with inflation and with rising bond rates, which is the kiss of death when it comes to, um, you know, the stock market and the fact that people are starting to get real with this is not under control by any means. Torsten Slock, who runs Apollo, the investment company, he steps forward, great article below, and says there will be no rate cuts in 2024, and people need to accept that. I'm at Sherman Gardens right now today, guys. Everybody requested I go back there. Oh, you didn't really cover that much. This place is absolutely stunning. It's in Corona Del Mar, California. They've got all these walk areas and different plants, but one thing they grew a lot of this year, they always do different stuff, is all these artichokes, and they're gonna let them bloom. So these should have been picked. You know, the ones you eat, they don't let them go this far to where the flowers come out. But uh, just very cool, very cool spot. Been at private events here, movies, a lot of different stuff, it's very cool. But what you're seeing is the fact that this is bad right now. Greg Manorino, he's teetering right now on should you get out of the market completely. That's your decision on what you should do. But what you should look at and what you should accept is that interest rates are not gonna drop anytime soon. How is that going to affect your family, your business, uh, your kids, family members buying things, credit card debt, everything? Well, you have to look at this and take it seriously because if you rely on anybody that needs credit right now, it's gonna start drying up worse than it is right now. And again, these are the good times right now. When you see these analysts that step forward from all these different places, and there's a bunch of great articles below on this, but I wanna get a couple names. You know, James Abadi um, from uh, the Center American Select Equity Fund was saying this is unbelievable. We've got, you know, the Fed keeps talking about their 2% uh, inflation rate and we're nowhere near it guys we're just nowhere near it and everybody knows that it's out of control it is just gone and everything is going up now health insurance I just got a notification from the gas company that they want to raise the gas rates and I didn't even open it because I know what this big book is it's like here's what we need now again nobody can run a business right now on the way it's going the way the economy is right now. They have to get creative. So when it comes to municipalities, gas companies, cities, they're just gonna raise taxes and raise their rates and do stuff because you know, they don't care about us. But you have to look at this. What if interest rates don't drop? What's that gonna do for your plans to buy a house or remodel or do anything? Well, it's gonna dramatically affect it. You're gonna pay more money for this than you've ever paid ever right now. Ever, 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 ever. So the thing about this is that you're going to see um, equity lines and things like that dry up. Here's something that's fascinating. For those of you that remember the 2008 debacle and those of you that had equity credit lines, remember that you had the checkbook and, oh, well, we have $200,000, Dan, we can go write ourselves checks whenever we want. There was a point in time when banks would just shut those off like it was nothing. Click, 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 hey, please be advised. And I know people that wrote checks. Checks were outstanding. Hey, you don't understand we have $5,800 in checks to the contractor. Can you let those go through? Nope, they're bad. They're gonna be revert. So, which created more problems for the people than ever before. They had a lot of things like that that happened. So that's about to happen again. You're going to see more and more problems with credit than ever before. Jamie Dimon steps forward and says, Private credit is going to be a big problem. And when it shuts off, all hell's going to break loose. Now, banks want to get into private credit. Banks want to get into these areas of lending that they can have smaller direct credit cards. 
They can have direct lending. Family offices do this. Family offices are basically families that lend money. But there's another great article over there below where uh, Jamie Dimon is talking about how this is going to change and be a huge, huge problem moving forward. What do you guys think, guys? Seriously, what do you think is going to happen with all of this? Now, Kevin O'Leary, Mr. Wonderful, he steps forward and gave some solid advice. This is uh, uh, like the big greenhouse. It's huge. It's really big. But it's really like, it's steamy and, and uh, based on the time of the year, they blow hot steam out. And it's just really, really warm right now in here. But just really cool. They've got the turtles out and uh, just very tropical. So Mr. Wonderful says, you need to plan on cutting back smaller houses, smaller cars, smaller lifestyle. It's a great idea. I think that that's solid advice that people should look at it. Nobody wants to look at that right now. You know, I really think the people out there that have big houses, I think that these people are not gonna move right now. I think that, you know, grandma and grandpa that have four bedroom houses and it's just them, and occasionally the kids come because they moved across country, I think they're gonna keep these houses for a lot longer than people think. Uh, what do you guys think? Think that's gonna change? Because again, these are the good times. This is where you're going to see interest rates just go up or stay about the same right now. So you're gonna see a lot of mortgages over 8%. And again, I please do me a favor and do not write me or any other YouTube channel ever and say, hey, listen, we had a mortgage of 13%. We know what it's like to be above 8%. This is nothing. Your house was $34,000 back then. It was like a car payment back then. It wasn't like a mortgage when you have 400,000, 800,000, $1.5 million. It wasn't the same thing. Not even close, not even a little bit, not at all, okay? So let me know what you guys think about this because when these bankers start issuing warnings like this, take it seriously. Take it seriously. This is as good as it gets, especially when it comes to the interest rates. I, it's not gonna change anything. You're going to still see inflation go through the roof. We haven't seen anything yet. You know, they can give another $275 million to Ukraine. We have problems here, okay? Uh, I had a great story sent to me about Wackadoo, San Francisco, where all the problems in San Francisco, all of them, all the vacancies, everything in the economy is because of global warming. Okay? Hello. Hello. That's insane. That's insane. You know, I keep getting people writing me about the student loan forgiveness and how, damn, this is such a great liberating thing that you need to embrace. I had a girlfriend with stage four cancer who worked to pay off her student loan debt. Okay? Don't, don't give me how you have it tough. Okay? So you didn't, you don't, you picked the wrong career. You never thought about, you know, um, how to make money and we have to pay for this. Think of the plumbers and the people that went to trade school, people that became contractors, electricians, hardworking people that work on your houses that pay taxes today are gonna pay off those student loan debts. What's fair about that? Why don't you give us a, you know, $170,000 tax credit? Oh, that's not in the cards, you know? Okay, it's, it's just not right. All of this stuff is not right. But today, today, this is as good as the economy is going to get. Oh, the, the steamers are going off. See if you guys can see that stuff. It's kind of cool coming in here doing this stuff. These places, everybody's very kind, and very nice. They have all these different, they're trying to raise money for this place to improve it and make it bigger and stuff like that. You can have your wedding here and all that stuff one of those places but uh, again this is as good as it gets right now so if you know that and you think that and Jamie Dimon says hmm all hell could break loose all hell is going to break loose starting next month I went to a baseball game last night with my foreclosure buddy and he just says Dan it's gonna be like it's gonna be like a drag race when it comes to commercial real estate starting next month. It's going to be like your foot to the floor to be able to service these places because the banks 
have so much commercial real estate that's going to be upside down right now. So much that they need people to service it. And he and I laid out a plan a long time ago that was very cool. And uh, he's gonna be just fine because they're ready for what's coming. Gosh, it's like you walk outside, it's like 25 degrees cooler in the heat of the day. So, anyways, take this seriously. This is as good as it gets. You're seeing all these businesses go out of business. You know, I did, you know, a few things about real estate agents and, and then they write me and they say, you don't understand. The, you know, people will be lost with their transactions without us. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're going to have lawyers negotiate things. You're going to have selling agents and you're not going to have buyer's agents anymore. They're going to be a thing of the past. And the seller's agents are not just going to post a sign in the front of the house. They're going to have to do things to earn their money. So correct me if I'm wrong there, guys. But let me know what you think about that. And uh, so much is going on, guys, right now in the economy. And it's just day one day to the next. You know, we're sitting there and I just, I get a kick out of people that are waiting for the free handout. I've had people in the last two weeks, an uptick of people ask me, do you think we'll get stimulus checks again? For what? For what? Seriously, yeah, sure. Go to your mailbox today and wait. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on. This is, this is nuts, guys. This is absolutely nuts. You've got to trim your expenses. You've got to live the Mr. Wonderful lifestyle of going back and cutting back and living smaller. What's wrong with that? It's great. Now, if you have a house and you can rent out rooms and things like that, I just can't stand having other people live with me, you know? It's Rosie and I, and that's it, okay? Women come over every now and then, that's nice. Friends come over every now and then, that's nice. But then they go home, you know what I mean? So I understand these people that don't want, I don't want to have people live with me, Dan. I don't want to sell my big house. Okay, I get it. Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank wants to do a crowdfunding deal to buy TikTok. And uh, he's using something called Start Engine where you can invest as, as little as a few hundred bucks and you can potentially help him raise his money to do this. It will be very interesting to see if he pulls this off because if you put $25,000 into it, the fee for the investment's only 700 bucks. So. Not that I checked it out for you guys, but I did. So that's what it would be if you wanted to help buy Shark Tank and invest money. You could do pennies or you could do as much as you want. So it'll be interesting. Do you think he should do that? Do you think he'd be a good owner of that? I think he, I liked his idea of owning a refinery before. That was something I thought that was good. Ex Goldman Sachs uh, president it could now be the Cleveland Fed president. Have you noticed you have all these banksters that go from one place to the next and uh, they're running all of our lives and they're just part of the in crowd and part of the party that we're not invited to? Let's talk about our sponsor, Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access is a VPN, a virtual private network that makes it so that when you're on your cell phone, when you are on your computer and you go to any website, you have a tunnel of encryption and you have no ways for the bad guys to see what you're doing. They cannot see your keystrokes. They cannot see what you're punching in. They cannot see anything. It gives you serious, serious protection with the bad guys out there. You need this. None of us want our data looked at. You don't want your search history looked at. Even start there. You don't want people to know your bank password, your internet password, uh, your pension, brokerage account, nothing. Okay? Keep it private. Private Internet Access has given us 83% off, and before the end of the month, before it ends, take advantage of this. So many of you have this. I was a customer before I was, they sponsored my channel, and it was the product of the year for two years. More IT professionals use the VPN from Private Internet Access than any other private uh, the VPN that I know of. They all tell me how much they love it. Plus, the deal I worked out is very cool. It covers your entire household. So every single device gets covered with one plan. Your laptop, your cell phones, your personal computer, um, your tablet, your iPad, everything under one account. Check it out today, private internet access. Do it now. You don't want to be hacked, guys. You don't want anybody to know what you're doing. 
even including the government too. Check it out today, use the link below. Just a quick video today and a uh, few things. I am blown away at the number of people that are in their late 50s, early 60s that still have student loan debt. And again, I'm not bagging on anybody. I'm not trying to insult anybody. I'm just telling you that you need to get a control of this because you can't bankrupt it. You, you clearly made a huge mistake with what you chose as a profession because you cannot make any money at it. Well, Dan, I love Elizabethan poetry and I am the best at that. And, uh, okay, well, great, okay? No, you know, there's jobs that pay 30 grand a year, guys, remember that. Not everything pays 300,000 a year. I met a lawyer who had $140,000 in student loan debt and reminded him that if he paid $1,000 a month towards his debt, which he couldn't do, that would be 140 months of his life. Oh, that's a really depressing way to put it, Dan. It is, guys, it is. Walgreens is gonna join the we're gonna cut prices train because of all the failures lately and because of a lack of customers. So they're gonna lower the price of 1,300 items in their store. If you had to like say, hey, if I walk into Walgreens, are there 1,300 items in the store? I guess there are. So they're gonna lower prices on everything. But it's absolutely shocking, okay? So 1,300 prices, good for them. Final, final story, and this is actually good news. Dr. Marvin sent me this one, and that is, in Florida, Governor DeSantis just signed, signed nine bills, but one of them really caught my attention. And one of them was, if you think, or a bank thinks, that a senior's being victimized. In other words, while well, Carol sure does cash a lot of checks for Wayne, and Wayne's retired and doesn't have any family member, that the bank can go to Senate Bill 356 and say, we're going to monitor this and watch this money being spent to make sure that seniors don't get taken advantage of. I'm like, well, that's a really good idea. You know what I mean? That really, when you think about it, it really is. So Senate Bill 356 in Florida. And again, because of all the theft, because of all the degenerates, I have so many friends and family members and friends and acquaintances and subscribers that have written me and said, oh my gosh, my uncle, my dad, my neighbor. The latest one was, I know a man that thinks he met the love of his life and would continue to send her money. And now I don't, I don't, it was a friend of a friend who sent him $1.3 million. Okay. But she's going to come visit him soon and bring back the money. Okay. So guys, it's not going to happen. Like, subscribe. I will see you guys soon. I'm going to get out of the hot box. Okay. You want to email me? Hello at iallegedly.com.